24 HRS After press conference Vegas police make shocking admission about security guard. The Las Vegas shooting is still being investigated. Updates are still being released about the shooter as the motive was unknown. However, the lack of knowledge is what we are most concerned about. On Friday a press conference was held by Clark County Sheriff Joe Lombardo on the process of the investigation and its status. He offered up another timeline of the shooting massacre that took place and this is the third different one. After all, he admits there was no six-minute gap between when the gunman opened fire and when the gunman shot a hotel security guard. He also admitted to the media, as the head of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department that the gunman purposefully fired on police officers responding to the scene of the crime. He also noted that there is no evidence that the gunman's actions were driven by ideology religion, or that he was affiliated with any sort of group. Since 8 a.m. Friday it has been reported that 546 were injured but that only 45 were thankfully still hospitalized. A few were in critical condition. Everyone else has been sent home. The sheriff became emotional and choked up when discussing Brady Cook, a Metro police officer harmed during the massacre. He, unfortunately, suffered several gunshot wounds during the shooting but regardless he asked to return to work before he was even ready. During the press conference, he revealed that he believes the 64-year-old gunman fired on jet fuel tanks located near McCarran Airport. The timeline of the massacre has changed on multiple occasions confusing most people. Many have been suspicious of the timelines he has given now because they fear it is wrong again. But the sheriff stands by his latest chronology of the shooting. He updated his former comments and noted that the incident started at 9.59 p.m. on October 1. The Daily Mail reported. MGM Resorts International, which owns the Mandalay Bay, released a statement Thursday questioning the timeline because it suggested that hotel security guard Jesus Campos, who was shot and wounded by Paddock, may have waited up to six minutes to report the attack. Hotel officials claimed it was no more than 40 seconds between the time Campos used his walkie-talkie to call for help and Paddock opening fire from his arsenal of weapons on 20,000 concertgoers at the Route 91 Harvest Festival across the street. On Friday, the sheriff said he was very well aware of the MGM statement and that he was not in conflict with it. Lombardo sought to clarify the timeline, saying that at 9.59 p.m., Jesus Campos encountered a barricaded stairwell door and had to ascend to another level in order to reach the 32nd floor where Paddock's room was located. According to the sheriff, the security guard was shot in the leg closer to 10.05 p.m., at which time he radioed and shots fired and also called on his cell phone to report the incident. Lombardo added that 10.05 p.m. was also when the majority of the fire started referring to the shooting targeting the country music festival. At 10.17 p.m., 12 minutes later, officers first arrived on the 32nd floor. The sheriff said that firing had ceased by that point and Paddock killed himself with a shot to the head. It is still unclear why he stopped firing on the festival when he did, or what his motive was. The sheriff said that Paddock's brain has been sent to a special medical facility where it will be subjected to microscopic analysis, after a preliminary evaluation revealed no visible abnormalities. Lombardo's latest version of events dovetails with that presented by Mandalay Bay officials on Thursday. There is no conspiracy between the FBI, LVMPD and MGM, Lombardo said emphatically. Security guard Jesus Campos disappeared Thursday night just moments before he was set to speak to the press for the first time since the savage attack. As of late Friday afternoon, the whereabouts of wounded Mandalay Bay staffer were unknown. After conducting hundreds of interviews, reviewing digital media and 1,000 pieces of evidence, Sheriff Lombardo said police and the FBI have found no signs of ideology or affiliation with any groups. Lombardo made the following public statements over allegations his department could have done more to stop the massacre. In the public space, the word incompetent has been brought forward. I am absolutely offended with that characterization. Unfortunately, there are no cameras for surveillance in the hallways of the Mandalay Bay so authorities have had difficulty since they cannot put the shooter at the scene of the crime.
FBI special agents have posted to social media asking for tips and clues if anyone has any and has placed telephone numbers to be meant for people to call if they do. Reports have shown that the shooter could have perhaps suffered from mental illness but the allegations have not been confirmed. Confirmed.